In this video demonstration, we are sharing another project idea that you might want to have a go at making on your scroll saw. The idea we're sharing is to make wooden coasters. So we start this process by preparing the wood that we're going to use. So the first thing we do is to select the timber. We're using some reclaimed oak that was from some old flooring. And we're also using some mahogany from some old furniture. So we prepare the wood and then proceed to prepare the designs. We use a PVA glue solution to stick the designs onto the wood. We then stack cut the designs using a small dot of Starbond super glue and the accelerant. This allows us to cut out more than one layer at a time. Once the design is dry and the layers have been stacked together, we proceed across to the pillar drills to do the holes for our pierce work. So the finer detail, we use a smaller drill bit and the larger holes can be used for doing the larger pieces of pierce work. Sand the back of the project nice and flat to allow it to sit on the bed of the scroll saw more evenly, making the process of cutting out easier for us to do. So now that our preparation is completed, we can go across to the scroll saw and start cutting out the designs. First design, we are doing a flower design that takes inspiration from a sunflower. So we start off by cutting out the pierce work on the flower design using the method of line art and then following on from there we cut the outline of each coaster. What you will find where we've super glued the layers together you may have a little bit of star bond left over and we use the gouge to separate the layers. From here we proceed straight on to our second design and this is another flower that takes inspiration from a rose design. Line art is the method that we are using to create that effect, using the lines cut out by our scroll saw to create that image of the rose. So we simply feed the blade into the hole that we've drilled on our pillar drill, into that gap, and then cut the lines to create that effect of the rose. The next design is a slightly different shape. We have a request for round coasters. Again, we do the pierce work, cutting out the face of, in this case, a poodle. We go across then to the bandsaw, cutting around the outside shape of our coaster, and then use the side attachment on the belt sander to smooth everything off. The next design that we have chosen after our poodle is another dog design, but it's a more cartoon style dog with a bone in its mouth. It's that same process. Feed the blade into the hole that we're going to use to then do that pierce work and the line art. Cut out the wood that you don't want and then cut around the outside shape to create that outline of the coaster. Once again, separate each coaster away from one another using a straight chisel, and then we proceed onto our final design. Out of the five, this is our top seller. So if you're doing this from a business point of view, we find that the cat design is the most popular. Use that line art technique to create that image of our cat design, cut the outline, and we proceed onto the process of finishing. We use the same technique as always, using three coats of shellac sanding sealer, rubbing it down in between each coat, applying it in the direction of the grain, and then as an optional extra afterwards, you could always add linseed oil mixed with beeswax. Just remember though, that's not necessary, as the fiddy shellac we use is a finish in its own right. So there you go, five different placemat designs for you to have a go at making yourself. Let us know in the comments section which one's your favourite. If you want to have a go at making those, check out the link in the description. We put the designs on our website for free for you to use. If that's useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and thank you all again for watching.